Are you guys ready for this? I'm tired of waiting on you. opening weekend everybody everybody that's out here at the same place as we want to go it's been a few years since we've had an area in Oregon we've been excited about but this year we scouted more than we have in the last couple years I think we got three solid weekends in and found an area we were super stoked about got here in great time actually we were talking about how we we're gonna hit the trail earlier than expected, which is a rarity, as you guys probably experienced too. We just got our packs loaded, and I was 10 seconds away from picking my bow up. Three dudes come by, look like they're packed for a week. It's not a huge area. We don't wanna like knowingly walk in behind three guys hunting the same area. So thankfully, two days ago, I told Alicia, I said, look, I know some general areas that are interesting, but I don't really have like B spots, C spots, any other spots. So I went through and marked a bunch. Uh, so I'd have a specific area to go to for us to go to instead of milling around. Well, we're gonna mill around a bit anyways because of daylight. I think we're gonna try a closer spot, but bummed, super bummed. We spent a lot of time building this hunt up in our minds and uh, it's one thing if you're already back there and people come in, make the call, you know, if you want to hunt around them or not. But we're just not, we're not interested in tailing other folks into the same area. So we're looking for another spot. I will say this though, I am a little bummed, but I think we're going to find elk. We've been finding elk everywhere we go. And I think we're going to find them again. And I'm still optimistic about making it happen, so I don't Let's know. Do Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Option two is a smaller area. We've got a hunter getting ready to hike out and horses that are already walked out. even less ideal than the last situation so we're resorting to trusty old onyx maps and some areas I've marked where we can go see some other people so we're gonna figure that out and go do it and we're gonna have a hell of a weekend okay we'll be out there somewhere somewhere um, we come in this road and turn right mm -hmm. there's a road that goes out that way that would take us to this option, which mostly like north, and very similar kind of an area is that it's north facing and timbered. Action. My goodness. Hunting is alive and well, folks. That's the good news. The other good news is we're on to option four. Checked out a third spot. There's nothing exciting about it tons of people 
around the area. So yeah, we're gonna we're going to a brand new area we've never been to. I gotta stop here, make sure I'm gonna go on the right fork. And uh, miles and miles from where we did all of our scouting. But we're gonna find a spot that's exciting and we're gonna hunt it. So I'm gonna check the map here real quick and cool and we're gonna we're gonna keep rolling we have actually marked i think three maybe four spots off of this road yesterday that were options so we're just gonna check them off until we find one that's exciting sixth or seventh spot yeah so we have a trail in front of us it goes for a ways and we're gonna hit it the excitement's coming back let's go do this <laughs> <laughs> awesome to be out here it really is <clears throat> it's dark as you can see we're about a mile and a half in and we think there's a meadow up here we're not entirely sure because I saved every area for 50 square miles except for this <laughs> but this is where we needed to be um, I saved every area for offline use on Onyx that is except for here so we can't really tell the features very well but we think there's a meadow up here and uh hopefully there is and hopefully it's flat enough for a camp spot because i think we're about ready to find camp and get some dinner excited to see if there's any elk here tomorrow <laughs> meadow so we're still hiking this is uh not at all how i intended opening weekend to go which on one hand might be a good thing because something's got to go right <laughs> good enough spot to set the boat. We found a home. We found a relatively flat area and found a footprint just about the size of our two-person tent. So considering it's the only flattish spot we found this entire hike, we're gonna snag it. <laughs> in here so it's not like we have to be in a hurry to get somewhere the elk should be anywhere around probably got 15 minutes to shooting light so we're in good shape
my goal is not to spend the time to try and find the perfect tree to keep it away from bears, but it is to keep it away from our tent. So if something wants to get after our snacks, it doesn't destroy our tent to get to them. It gets it off the ground too. Make it a little harder for rodents. It's light out. <laughs> It's a circus, folks. <laughs> Is that better? As I was saying, folks, it's a circus. Um, it's about 45 minutes after we would ideally be hunting. But it is what it is. We're here. We're here where the elk are, where they should be. So I think it matters a lot less than if we were just leaving the truck down by the other 300 yahoos on the main road. Apologies if you're one of them. <clears throat> no, good folks, fellow hunters like us, but there were a lot of people. That reminds me, I need one of these things. Are you guys ready for this? I'm tired of waiting on you. Try that. If not, I'll go back to my $10 Amazon pouch. Let's see, we're going that way. <laughs> sat for, I don't know, 15 minutes or so, just to let that bull calm down. And we're going to work up the trail and then get up into the timber a little bit. Just probably start with some raking <laughs> and see if we can get him to come in. The wind is perfect. Um, we've got 
got maybe an hour where we can count on the wind being good and hopefully we can make it happen. Either way, I've got to say this, we hunted quite a bit in Oregon last year and never saw an elk. An elk, not a cow, not a bull. We heard a handful of bugles, so we're already doing better than last year. started getting shifty earlier than we thought it would and it seems like when the wind starts getting shifty it invokes a Pavlovian response that it's nap time <laughs> <laughs> which is a pretty good play so we sat down had some snacks and then we laid down and had some nap <laughs> woods naps are the best mm -hmm. so we're gonna figure out our, our play here we're low and the winds pushing up so probably go hit a ridge somewhere See you guys back in the trees. It works for the type of bugle I was doing, but I hate when I cut them off like that. All right, so we remembered we needed water. There's a little trickle here, so we're gonna pump some water for the day and probably get our camp water tonight. Super thick little jack pines. You can't see three feet in front of you. So we came back to this old growth, probably a few hundred yards where we busted that bull this morning. And there's a lot of water around here. And it's really hot, so I think we're just gonna sit here for a little bit, listen, try and keep our scent contained as much as possible so we don't blow our evening hunt. And we'll hope we get lucky and hear an animal working through getting that midday drink. Don't really know what else to do. It's not really a bomb the ridges kind of place. It's early in the season. It's opening day. Of course, you already know that, but it's early in the year and uh, we haven't heard any bugles and there's a fair chance that bulls aren't bugling much yet. So we're gonna play that game. A little, the Oregon game. The Oregon game, exactly. We're 
sitting here feeling like we're not doing anything. Had some more snacks. Continually thinking about strategy and what we should be doing. Thinking about how the hunt's gonna go tonight. Thinking about if there's more we could be doing right now. The wind is howling. It's switching a lot, so I'm not too excited about hiking a whole bunch if everything in front of us is gonna continually be blown out. So we're here. One thing we're doing this weekend is trying out some new bars. And this was a little treat bar I got. Not a ton of protein, but it's small. So if I had to eat a couple of them, if they're good, I want to know. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, no bite. Sure. It's almost like a dessert bar. You don't like it? I like it. I like raspberries though. Tastes like raspberry tea. The seeds. Yep. Delicious. If we see a bull, we'll kill it. <laughs> if we see a group of cows, we'll consider staying. We're gonna hunt our way back towards camp. Been thinking a lot about staying here, if it's worth it. It's not a huge area for us to really hunt. And while we saw a bull, at times it feels silly to think he's still there and that we're still gonna hunt him in the same area tonight and again tomorrow morning. So we're gonna go see if he's still there and kill him if he is. And if he's not, I'd say we're leaning towards relocating to a fresh area. Right now we're just looking for elk and I think we're tired of sitting around. So we're gonna go try and make something happen and hope that we can get the wind right for long enough.
So I'm trying to regathering call, which I might have tried one other time. But we were just listening to a podcast with the Elknet, and he highly recommends it. So we're just creeping our way. We hadn't been hiking 10 minutes, and I saw a color. And before I could get my binos on it, I saw an antler move, and it was the, like, three-point bull. So we started creeping along. And then I spotted a cow bed. The bull was probably around 40 to 50 yards at the time, but I couldn't see him. The cow was about 70. She was looking in our direction, but never saw us. When she got up, we started creeping closer and got to within 40 yards of the herd. Yeah. set up, you know, doing those regathering sounds, and maybe 15 minutes into it, another hunter comes walking up the trail right below us. Super nice guy. Had a little chat, and, uh, you know, folks have been hunting here for years, so sometimes folks like that can be territorial, uh, but he was super nice super nice um, so had a little chat and now that adds another wrinkle to our decision on whether or not to stay here this week and they got um, six folks in their party and they basically you know cover all the trails in here that being said there's still elk in here so we'll see we'll figure it out but uh i'd say nine times out of ten i'm not thrilled to run into other hunters on the trail but it is nice um you know when you meet good people and go on your merry way light to answer your question <laughs> we're packing up folks pretty quick after we uh well we held a conference call back there and uh you know we were gonna make our decision but 
we needed to uh, invest investigate. We needed to investigate a little bit more, so we took it offline. We double clicked into it and we impacted it a little bit. We drilled down into it, and once we did that, we realized that I mean, there's only one clear decision to make. <laughs> well, we talked about it for two seconds, maybe, and uh, the guy I ran into, he's with a big party. They hunt all over this place, and I think the allure of this place was that we had it to ourselves, or we felt like we had it to ourselves. So we're gonna call it a good day of elk hunting, and we're gonna make another good day of elk hunting somewhere else. We're gonna pack up super fast, hit the trail. We should be at the truck before dark, but we're not gonna be to our destination before dark. So we'll figure out, we've got a couple ideas back around where we originally started. So we'll figure out exactly what we're gonna do, but it's gonna be a sleep in the bed of the pickup, most likely. Actually, I shouldn't say that. We haven't decided, so we'll see. We'll let you guys know when we do. For now, um, enjoy this time lapse of us breaking down camp. I was found here. We made quick work of that. Mosquitoes are getting nasty, so we're out of here. I was found here. 